For a fifth straight day, a war is raging between police and gangs in the slums of Rio. The battle has already left 22 people dead, with the World Cup and Olympics coming to Brazil in the next six years. This is a fight police cannot afford to lose for more reasons than one. Tim Lister has more. Rio's drug gangs lash out in response to police raids against their strongholds. Buses and other vehicles burn in a fourth day of violence. As the streets and alleys of Rio's slums echo to the sound of gunfire. Rio police reported that more than a dozen suspected drug gang members were killed Wednesday as they continued raids in several of the city's densely populated slums. 150 people have been arrested since the operation began. In retaliation, the gangs hijacked vehicles and launched gun attacks elsewhere in the city and even beyond it. They stopped me and pointed their weapons, says José Souza da Silva, his car now burned out. This police outpost in the suburb of Caixa Fluminense, one of the targets. The police operation is part of an ongoing program to eject the gangs from Rio's favelas, but two factions have joined forces to fight back. Gun battles raged around the Peña shanty town, where the Red Command, one of the most powerful groups, is well entrenched. Rio's public security secretary said the violence had been ordered by imprisoned drug traffickers. They were now being moved to jails in other parts of Brazil. The governor of Rio State said the gang attacks were aimed at creating panic, but insisted the authorities would not back down. And Brazil's outgoing president, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, said the state would do whatever it takes so that the good guys, as he put it, defeat those who prefer a life of crime. But these are not the sort of scenes that the city of Rio de Janeiro wants the world to see in the run-up to the World Cup in 2014 and the Olympic Games two years later. And many of its residents are alarmed that this time the gang violence has spilled well beyond the favelas. Tim Lister, CNN, Atlanta. Well, speaking of uh, the drug wars, as some people call them, Mexico has one on its hands, that's for sure.